Once you've done a search in PubMed, you'll want to find out if you can access the full text of the articles you've found. In order to do this, you can use the Pen Text button. In the default results display, the Pen Text button does not appear. If you click on the title of a specific article, you'll see the Pen Text button at the top right-hand side of the page. If you want to see the pen text button for all of the articles you've retrieved in your search, you need to change the display settings. Click on the arrow next to display settings, choose abstract format, and click apply. Now, in addition to seeing the abstracts for each of the articles, you can also see the pen text button at the bottom of each citation. If we look at this citation from the International Journal of Pediatric Dentistry, you can see that in addition to the pen text button, there is a link directly to the publisher's website. It's tempting to use that link to get the full text of the article, but this website might ask you to pay to access the article. To access the text of an article that the library subscribes to, you need to use the pen text button. If I click on the pen text button for this article, you can see that the full text of the article is available online. If I click on the link, it takes me directly to the article. If you're planning to print the article, it might be helpful to use the PDF format. Let's go back to my PubMed search results and look at another article. If I click on the pen text button for this article from the Journal of Clinical Dentistry, you can see that the full text of the article is not available online. The next step is to check in Franklin to see if we have a copy of the journal in the library. If I click on the link to Franklin, you can see that we do in fact have the Journal of Clinical Dentistry in the dental library. If we have the volume that you're looking for, you can come down to the library and make a photocopy of the article that you need. When I go back to my PubMed search results one more time, I'll look at this article from the Journal of Clinical Calcium. When I click on the pen text button, I can see that the article is not available online, so I'll try Franklin. Franklin can't find any results for this journal, which means we don't have a print copy in our libraries either. The third option here is to request the article through interlibrary loan. If you click on this link, you'll be asked to log in with your pen key. Once you log in, the form will automatically be filled out with the article's information. The default setting is for web delivery, which means when the article you've requested is available, you will get an email instructing you how to view it online and print it out on your own. Click the Send Request button and you'll receive an email about your article as soon as it's available. This concludes the Pentext tutorial.